Hey guys, Mohan Popera here, and today I'm going to share with you how to get things done. And this is part one. Let's get to it. So, hey, if you're new to this channel, my name is Mohan Popera, and I'm here to share with you and document my journey in business. I've been involved in many businesses over the last few years, and I'm here to share with you my mistakes, my lessons, things that worked for me and things that didn't work for me, and hope that you learn. And I'm just here to document what I'm doing. And yeah, if you want to learn more about that, like, subscribe, comment below, let me know what you think. Um, and there are links in the description below. Join our group on Facebook. And also, there's a link for you to submit your questions if you want. And that's how I'm creating my future videos. And I'm mostly here to show you that there's two ways to grow a business. One of them is organically, and one of them is by acquisitions. Everyone's talking about organic ways, doing more sales and marketing. I'm here to show you that there's another way to do it, which is to go and buy other businesses, either by your competitors or go and buy complementary businesses to yours. Um, so yeah, that's the introduction. Let's get to it. So today I want to talk about how to get things done, how to be productive. And everyone out there, well, the first thing I see is people just have a huge to-do list. They're getting overwhelmed and they're not sure what they need to do, what they need to focus on. And it all comes down, like everything, to your mindset. I see many people who are just not sure where to start. And I see people who are just acting as if they're productive. I hope they're making sense. They're always looking to get ready to get ready. They're looking to do the things that are kind of like not really important things, but only the things that are kind of like um, not crucial. Like just for, in a business, for example, I see people spend too much time on creating a logo, for example, versus to go out there and get it sale. So that's, that's one example. And it basically comes down to the, uh, I guess, assumption that being busy is good. Uh, versus productive and I, I think I don't remember where I saw that quote but, but basically uh, being busy is some kind of a form of laziness because you didn't have the uh, mindset to step back and really look at what is the most important thing to do business in the end of the day and I think anything in life if you want to master something and become good at something comes down to just one or two or just very few things in order to get things done and get work done and eventually get results because it's all it all comes down to the results in the end of the day i don't care how busy are you or how productive or how much you're hustling and everyone out there right now are talking about i'm hustling this or i'm i'm hustling all day i'm working 24 7 but in the end of the day are you really productive are you really producing things in those in those hustling hours most people know there's only so many hours you can really really be productive every day i don't think that you can really be productive for more than like five, six hours a day. And just, I'm talking like you got to really, they're like fire up, up your, your head, productive work. I'm talking productive work where you're producing things. I'm not talking about chilling mode where you're sometimes having calls or like watching videos like this one is not being productive. It's maybe going to open the door for you to be productive, but this is not what's going to get you the results. For example, in business, what you should do is go out there and bring in prospects and get leads and get sales if you're trying to grow organically. If you try to grow by acquisitions, it's to go and find businesses, it's to go and look for capital, it's to go and evaluate deals. So if you're not doing those activities, everything around it is just acting productive, it's just acting busy, and it's in the end of the day literally being lazy because you can't have a moment to step back and really think about, hey, okay, what is really important to me? What am I trying to achieve? And what is the end goal here? And I think other than thinking about what are the most important things you need to do in order to achieve an outcome, you really need to think about your why. So why, so whenever you have a, you wanna have a goal and then you wanna think about what are the most important things. And like I said, it comes down to really few simple things, especially every day, every day you literally need to wake up or ideally think about it the night before and think, okay, what are my goals for the next day, for the next week, for the next month, for the next year, for the next 10 years? And what are the one, two things I can do tomorrow in order for me to get to move forward as much as I can towards those goals? And this should be like very few things, not more than like five things a day. Otherwise, you just it, it makes no sense if there are really productive things. So you have few things, but then you also need to have a, a thought about your why, why those things are important. Because unless you have a purpose behind your actions, you're just gonna go through the motions. You don't have you're gonna you you wanna have some kind of a purpose and a driven attitude when you're taking action. Otherwise, you're just gonna chill. You're just like okay, let's do this, let's do that. But when you're thinking about your why, like what's the real purpose of you taking those actions? 
that's going to really make you think, okay, I want to do this because I want that lifestyle. Because I, want, I have that goal because I want to help these people or serve these people or impact that kind of part of the world. When you have those things at the back of your mind, first of all, it's going to make you more driven and purposeful when you're taking action. But secondly, I think it's just going to make things much, much more fun versus going through the motion. So with everything you do, have a goal, have a reason why you're taking those actions towards your goals and then go and implement those things literally like a robot and don't think about your emotion. A, a real successful person is able to take action no matter how it feels. So when you wake up, I don't feel like excited every morning to do the work, but I have a purpose be behind it and I know that I need to take those actions no matter what. Your emotions are there. They're, they're not for you to progress in life if that makes sense they're here they're there to save you and keep you in your comfort zone and if you want to progress in life you got to do things outside your comfort zone and many times those things aren't not going to feel well if that makes sense you're not going to feel amazingly excited to do everything but you got to think logically sometimes especially in business and say okay what are the next most important things i need to do and then literally implement them like a fucking robot and I'll finish with the fact that you want to eliminate throughout the day everything that's stopping you from those few main activities. So if you have a goal and you have a, a few action items and you have your purpose, then the four steps I think is eliminate everything you can. If it means put your phone in an airplane mode, um, I don't know, block every website or even your browser if it's not necessary to your work, block everything around you or outsource everything else like cooking like admin stuff like i don't know everything that takes some time from you just literally find someone else to do it obviously i don't know what your business situation but go outsource it pay to someone to do it for you otherwise you're gonna waste a lot of time so that's kind of like the first the first um part of this video of, of productivity um yeah hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you soon